Well, it's Uncommon Fossil, and making this video today to let you know that we can, in fact, complete the V challenge, or the V daily quest, sorry, where I have here put four Pokemon V into play. You can see that it's here. I've completed three of four, and I have... But I made sure not to play a fourth so I can show you how to do it in this video here. And it's pretty simple. Basically, what you need to do is you play EX Pokemon. So uh, this uh, error happened back when the EXs, I believe, got added into the code. I think probably back when Mimikyu EX was added was when EXs were the first EX adding. And somehow with the code, it now, instead of looking for V Pokemon being played, it looks for EXs. Uh, so you, I'll just show you in this video here as I go through this gameplay. Um, like, so it's pretty simple. You know, I've been afraid to reroll challenges that I didn't like. Like sometimes the Stadium Challenge or the Retreat Pokemon Challenge, especially the Retreat Pokemon Challenge. I don't often, you know, dot doing a lot of retreating in a lot of these decks. So, but I was always afraid to reroll a challenge I didn't want because I was afraid I might get the Play V Pokemon Challenge and that was impossible up to this point, or at least I thought it was. I assume that from the very beginning you probably could have been playing EXs. I was not aware of that. So I'm in a good good position here as long as I don't get knocked out or um, judged. And both those are possible for sure. I have Growlithe down. I have Arcanine EX. I'm playing the Arcanine EX deck, which is what I'm working on for the next video. Um... I don't think I will get my active knocked out. I might get, I certainly might get judged. Um, but as it stands now, I can complete my challenge. When I said good news, good news in terms of completing the challenge, not good news in terms of actually winning this game. I'm not in a great position when it comes to winning this game because I have Arcanine EX to, to attack next turn, but it will do 30 damage, which is not impressive right um it's possible oh, i'm getting judged that's the card i did not wish to see but let's that life goes on okay i have ultra ball so i can complete the challenge right um all right i want to i'll get rid of my energy i which means i can't really attack this turn but that's okay i want to get Arcanine EX to evolve so I can complete the challenge so you can see how that works. I'm going to keep playing this game so I will nest ball and get down a fire Pokemon so I can accelerate to it. Um, do I want... I guess I will go with... I'll go with the Growlithe. Why not? Might as well go for another EX this game. Um, I have a, the opportunity to attack with it next turn. If I top deck, if I get lucky in my top deck, of course, that is. So end turn there. Um, obviously, um, keeping that second energy would have let me attack that turn if I hadn't discarded it. But um, that 30 damage wasn't going to be very useful. I could have attached that turn and given me the possibility of the 250 damage next turn, uh, but we'll see how my opponent sets up. Okay, well, that's actually good for me, that rope. I like it because um, Arcanine EX is the better attacker. I don't know if my opponent's just kind of stalling, you know, kind of a boss stall type situation because they don't have anything. Um, so they're going to bump my stadium, unfortunately. I believe, right? It does. No, it doesn't bump the stadium. I'm sorry. That's the second attack. Where they, so they need more energy in play. So, um, I will attach to the benched. Um, I will get some en more energy on the Growlithe. So it gives him the possibility of attacking next turn. It can attack for 70 next turn, but I, I might be able to evolve if I. I'm fortunate enough to get to evolve into the EX, then I can do the 250 damage. Um, but my opponent, obviously, is starting to get things going. That got Luminion, which lets them get a supporter, so they it gives their odds are that they will get Lugia evolved. Um, maybe not, though. We'll see. They have an Irida. 
Uh, do they want a water Pokemon? I'm not sure. They play another Lumineon. Would probably what they'd be searching for. And an item card. So Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball will let them get rid of... So if they have the two Archaeops, they can get rid of the Archaeops and and search out the Lugia V-Star. So they, they're, they're, from their standpoint, they want to get... Wow. Okay. So not good uh, at all. So they're going to probably just use their first attack again, read the wind, and discard the uh, Lugia V. So attaching to the active is also uh, opens up the, the possibility of discarding the stadium with their attack next turn also. So Arvin, um, an item and a tool. Okay. I obviously would like... All right, what am I going to do here? So I could switch. So do I have... I have an EXP share. Um, what do I want to do here? I guess I'll get another Pokemon down at this point. I can't evolve the Growlithe. That's th a problem I have, for sure. Um, and I can't use Magna Basin at this point, so that kind of stinks, too, for sure. So, Arcanine EX. I will put down another Growlithe. And my EXP share I will put onto my EX. I will do 70, a whopping 70 damage here. Um, they draw a card, which is fine. Um, that actually numbers that, that that damage is important um, because it. Um, I can do 250 damage with Arcanine EX next turn, assuming they knock me out. The act current active that is. I'll 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 I'll, ex, I'll move the third energy on to Arcanine EX with the XP share. All right, so what are they doing here? Um, wow. Wow. They are struggling here. Now, they have two Archaeopses in the discard pile, so that's good for them. Um, so I will research. I will... I think I just retreat, right? I believe I retreat. I don't love that. But I do like the notion of knocking them out. That part is a positive for sure. Do three. I will Magna Base into the Growlithe that has the, the damage on it already because the first attack is based on damage on the Pokemon. I will throw down my Moltres. I knock out the active. Now, I don't have the ability to attack next turn unless I draw into an energy, but now they obviously they cannot use Lugia's V-Star power next turn because they don't have a V in play. So that's very good for me. Now, Luminion is a good attacker for them, potentially, because it does... I'm all fire card Pokemon, so it does 240 to me. They've discarded one. That 240 is not enough to knock out a, a healthy Arcanine EX, but th if I if I were to evolve this Growlithe here on the bench, that one would be knocked out. So they're going to hit into me. Um, if they do enough damage to me, though, I can knock them out. So let's see what happens. So 160, so if I get one energy attached, I knock them out. So what do I want to do here? Um, so I will, I guess I'm going to research, right? I think I'll research. I will keep tossing, um, I guess I'll just research this all away. I need one energy in hand, and I could have gotten it with Clara, but I, that's not really my preferred way to get that energy. Um, so I'm going to make that play. I'll accelerate to that Arcanine. 
EX. Now it does, you know, more damage, which is nice. Um, I, I have the ability to evolve into Charizard next turn. That's quite nice also. So, boom, take my third prize. Now they can start to get going this next turn if um, they have a decent number of cards in hand. So they're not in a terrible place. All right, the Radiant Charizard is nice in this deck too um, because I can attack with obviously one energy depending as they take prizes but if i get my charizard up then all my basic fire energies count as two energy fire energies so that also reduces the attack cost from my opponent so at this point i think i i will so they're getting set up now I will attack with my Arcanine EX that I have in play at this point. Because um, they're going to knock me out with all the damage on me. So that's okay. Um, so I, I imagine they're going to accelerate to Tri Trianator. Tyranitar, Tyranitar, I guess is the way I, I pronounce it. Um, so I'm just kind of waiting. So 200. The nice. Okay, so if they're at 200 with this Pokemon, then they're not knocking out my Arcanine. So that's a plus for sure. Um, they can knock me out with the one shot me with the Tyranitar though. So we take what we have, right? So and I didn't get energy, so I can't do the big... Oh, I can do the big attack because I got the Charizard down. Silly me. So let me get down a Bidoof at this point. Do I have... I do have another Arcanine because I have Babarel for next turn. Put down the Radiant Charizard and let me attack for 250. I will discard one energy, right? I, I you discard two, but you can only but you only have to discard one because of Charizard's ability. Um, so that you know, I have certainly set up better than my opponent this game. I still might lose cuz it is a, it is a more powerful deck than mine. But things have set up well for me, so I have a chance for sure. Um, so we'll have to see what I do here. If they knock, they'll knock him out, I suppose. Uh, they'll have to retreat, though, if they want to get the knockout, right? Because I believe he does two. So 220. Oh, it does 220 now. Is that correct? Um, isn't it? Oh, I'm just reading the text here, right? It's not giving me the actual numbers, I don't believe. Right? It should be 200 because of the DTE. So, yeah, they're retreating. Um, so I think I'm going to send up the Charizard. Um, I just I need an energy. That's what I do. I need one energy. Um, so the, I will take that chance, right? I'm going to send up the Charizard. I hope I hit into energy. I do have the Barrel, so I will see some extra cards this turn. So Evolve. I can't retreat though, so I could have, I would have had knockout there, um, but I think I have more options to hit into energy. I hit a number of energies. That's awesome. I will attack. I could put. I think I'll just attack, right? Um, it's gone quite well. So at this point. I just need one prize left. Um, I, they can obviously knock out my Charizard. They don't win. To win the game this turn, they would have to knock out my Arcanine EX with full HP. Assuming they hit into my active, I will send over a third energy to my Arcanine EX. And so then I do 250, and I knock out 
whatever they have. They did get rid of a canceling clone, which if they don't knock me out, they could use canceling clone to, to knock out Regent Charizard's. Ab no, no, no. Forget what I forget. I said that it only ca it cancels the, the my active's ability just for this turn. That was more of an anti wheezing one. It stops. I guess it's a, for for was it Klefki or Clefi? Klefki, I think that that stops abilities on basic Pokemon so that so they can use Luminion. I suppose that's what it's there for. Um. Now, they're making plays. I don't think they can win this game. They can't, they could boss stall me, right? I, that, that boss stall would work. I do have Arvin to look for a tool, and I played a rope. I don't remember what the switch cards are in this deck. Um, now, my energy's count is two, so I only need half the number of energy to pay the retreat cost, but I, I still couldn't pay Charizard retreat cost in one turn. So looking at options, um, obviously they could, they have the option of not to, all right, so they're going to, yep, so they're going for the boss stall move. I, and I get it. I mean, that's their only play. It's not wrong. Um, the problem, because they're going to have to one shot my Arcanine, right? Which, and I don't think they can do that, can they? It does 240, and they need to... Oh, oh yes, uh, they, uh, I apologize. They certainly can with... Because now it's doing 20 more. So what, what's their energy situation? Oh, they, all their other singles... So right now they're doing 260, so they need to hit um, welcoming... Uh, no, what, what's the supporter there? All right, so I need a switch card. Nice, pure, and easy. So I have rope, and that's all I need, right? So I don't have any Pokemon. Oh, I don't have any items. So I will just, so I will attach and rope, and I have game. We'll see if they concede or not. At the, I mean, they made the play to extend the game to give themselves a chance. They needed to have some more urns of urn of vitality. I don't know if they play those or not. Down to one prize, so I will just knock them out with a second attack. And I just need to get rid of one energy. So that's what I do. Take the last prize. So there we go. I won the game too on top of it, but I did get a couple EXs into play. And now we will check. I should have finished the daily challenge of playing of putting the Pokemon into play. So I like that. Get get some good uh, points towards the battle pass. And let's let's see. So it is. So I got credit. So I completed the four play play for the Poke put four the Pokemon into play. So you can complete that challenge. You just need to utilize EX Pokemon. So just convert that, translate it into EX when you read the Vs, and you're good to go. And I will just open up the pack that I got. Oh, I have three packs here. So see if I get any EXs. I have not been doing very well in terms of pulling EXs, because that those are the expensive cards amongst the wish lists are the EXs. And I just haven't been hitting those. So it's it's sad. I, I would like to get some, but uh, it is what it is, right? Um, it may be the way they redid the these card these packs, right? They reconfigured the packs. We get one more card, but they, I I think they've increased some of the hollows and things like that and things, which is fine. But in the process, it might be reducing the uh, number of EXs. So so that's it. So there we go. So. You want to complete the challenges, play EXs, and don't be afraid to re-roll because you can get Vs into play. If need be, just play EXs. Take care.